Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here and if you're returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is gonna be my top 10 perfumes for life. Um, so if you're curious to know which 10 perfumes I've chosen, then just stay on this video and watch. Um, honestly, this was really difficult because um, I can be very indecisive. So let's say we do this video like a few times a year so i don't have to stuck on 10 perfumes but in case you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram if you also enjoy some fashion content because i post a lot of outfit photos on there and a lot of other stuff and yeah i want to get into it i just want to put a few information since there's a lot of you new here and i'm really happy that you're here probably from um Ilithia, if i said her name right i hope so from the simple chic channel uh, welcome i'm really happy that you're here and thank you so much to her for giving me a shout out because that was really a nice surprise and really very very kind um so yeah, in case you're new here, I just wanted to let you know how I work with perfumes quickly. I um, I don't say, I wouldn't say I'm a collector because I used to be a, a collector, but I realized that that's really a pity for the beautiful perfumes because um, I'm never able to wear all of them at once. And also, um, obviously the perfumes, they do tend to get... Um, worse in time so you can you shouldn't really keep them for years and years um the other reason is that i'm a person i like to have my signature scents i like to also have similar scents because when you have too many sorry when you have too many scents then obviously there's not a scent that is uh that you feel like you're more bound to because you are all the time different scents but and again again that's very individual that's just me um, I like to show my perfumes always on the screen with a picture and notes in case you're new because I just feel like it's much more clean, much more neat and I really enjoy that and also if you want to um, stop the video to check the notes you can do that. That doesn't mean that I don't own these perfumes. Um, I currently I do have 30 perfumes in my collection. I will make a, per a collection video update. I declutter every three months like I do with my fashion items. Less is sometimes more. I know 30 might for some be a lot for others not so when i recommend perfumes a lot of times there's also perfumes that i personally don't wear because maybe they are too floral for me but i know that they cater to a lot of people and that's really important for me to tell you because i think all of like in general there's a lot of beautiful perfumes but i also know that perfumes smell different on everyone and there's perfumes that i think are beautiful on others but not on me still i would like to recommend them because i want to cater to a most of ta most taste i want to cater to as much people as possible so perfumes i recommend i used before i owned before or i gifted to someone else and i have been in love with perfume since i can remember since i was a child so uh, over the years, obviously, I tried and tested so many perfumes. I also like to give away perfumes if I feel they're not for me, so they never go to waste. Um, if you have a name that I've mispronounced, please let me know in the comments and let me know how to pronounce it kindly. I think we can all learn from each other as long as it's respectful and kind. So now I said this, I want to go into my list. I hope you enjoy the list and um, a lot of these perfumes I've already talked about because I absolutely love them. So let's get into it. So the first up in my list is obviously Contre Moi by Louis Vuitton, which is probably um, my top in my top two perfumes of all time. This is really one of my signature scents, I would like to say, because it's the most beautiful vanilla perfume I've ever smelled in my entire life. Yes, I said it, in my entire life. I think it's an amazing fragrance. Why? Because it is uh, vanilla, but it is they are different types of vanillas, first of all, and it's very powdery and soft very sophisticated but at the same time it's very present i find it difficult um to find perfumes sometimes that are a little bit on the softer side but are still very present and longevity is there and the sillage is there with this perfume i really feel like um the perfumer did a great job because it is really a perfume that a lot of people smell and compliment me that that's why i mentioned it 
in my most complimented perfume video so i really really love this perfume i will never not have this in my collection and i hope they will never discontinue it because i'm in love with this scent this is really one i mean if you love vanilla and you are not um i mean for me it's soft i know that's very um you know a lot of times also when i say something of course that's also um everyone has a different opinion and perception but in my personal opinion um i really think it's a softer vanilla because there's some vanillas that can smell very very heavy still there's a sweetness to it and it's just amazing it's difficult to describe because for me this is just it's a wow factor perfume and the next one is also my top two i there's no particular order but i wanted to mention the first two that i'm obsessed with the second one is kirke by uh, kirk kirke kirke by tiziana terenzi and i know it's a perfume that is hyped about but it's one for me that is um it is uh, like that that goes up to its hype there's some others that i don't feel but again that's very personal i love this perfume and it's funny because the older i get the more i also you know sometimes tastes and um taste in perfume changes and i never used to be so much about fruity perfumes but this one is just in insane i mean it's very similar to herba pura but i still feel like this has a little bit more depth to it it's i really really love this one it starts off on my skin with a pure note and then it slowly goes into a fruit i would say a fruit salad kind of you know there's so you there's so many fruits and it is sweet but at the same time it is not tacky if you want if you know what i mean it's still a classy and elegant fragrance and it's just the fragrance develops beautifully and again there's also mask in it so you can see that the scent just develops beautifully on my skin i love this fragrance i think this is also a great fragrance all year around this can is also a great fragrance that i like to layer with a oud for example um with more of a woody scent i I enjoy it a lot and this is definitely one perfume that I would keep in my top 10 for life. And the next one is Woody Style by Arabian Oud. Um, I think this is one of the best ouds out there and uh, not, a, not, a, not a lot of people talk about it but I think this is a great oud because it is strong but it is still I think still people that are not familiar with oud can enjoy this one because even for me and I'm very familiar with oud uh, Middle Eastern scents when I used to go to Dubai and smell certain oud fragrances it was too 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 much it was like not enjoyable for me um, but this one is just stunning. It is spicy, but it is also very, it's very unisex to be honest. So if you have a vanilla perfume or a rose perfume, you can mix it also greatly with it. And I think this is a beautiful fragrance. For me, this is a very, a fragrance that smells very expensive, very luxurious. And, um, I love this fragrance. I would definitely keep it for life. I've also repurchased this a lot. Repurchased pre-purchased a lot. And before we have Bois d'Amande by Van Clef Arpes. I told you before, if you don't have, if you never tried out Van Clef Arpes perfumes, you need to try them out because they have really beautiful perfumes and the prices I think are really good for your perfumes. This one is a very, very beautiful perfume. This one is my favorite autumn scent with another one that I will come to later. Um, there is almond, of course, as it says, almond. There is vanilla, musk, cedar. So it's a very warm, spicy, uh, it's beautiful. Honestly, that's right up my alley. The first time I sprayed it, I was like, wow. And I have to say, there's a lot of fragrances that I think are beautiful, but there's not a lot of fragrances that wow me. And I would say all of the fragrances that I show you today were fragrances that I had a first reaction of it, where I was like, wow, I need this one. So this one is definitely one of those. I think this is a beautiful fragrance for colder months, but honestly, there's no rule. Just wear it whenever you feel like it. And I, um, but I just feel like when colder weather is there, it's just tastes, I mean, the smell is just beautiful. Anyways, I, um, currently don't have it in my collection i will get it again for autumn because um i always tell myself 30 is enough 
so whenever I am at 30 I will finish some bottles and then I will purchase new ones because I used to have so many and I keep them in a place where obviously there's not a lot of heat but still it's a pity and for me perfume is art and I I mean it's like fashion I realized with getting older a little bit older as well that just quantity is does not mean um, like quality over quantity it's better sometimes to have some pieces and then you know you get more excited as well when you purchase something new when you purchase a lot of news i mean that's how i am at least you always go you, you i mean if you purchase a lot of perfume um you get excited about one you i read the notes and i'm like oh i need to try it i need to blind buy it which i do a lot actually and then I end up getting it, I get excited, I wear it a few days and then I want the next one and I had to slow down because, you know, you have to enjoy art a little bit. <laughs> so I will definitely get this perfume for autumn winter time, yes, because it's a beautiful one. Um, the next one is Perfect Oud by Mitzensir, again, I've talked about this before. A beautiful oud, one of the best ouds I believe because again this is an oud that a lot of people would enjoy not only people with a Middle Eastern background or people that are familiar with oud it is so 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 beautiful it is a more in my opinion a more of a fresher oud um, there's still some depth to it for me it's like the name it says it's perfect it's a perfect blend they he did it the perfume did a great job it's a local brand it's based in geneva they have beautiful perfumes high class niche brand in my opinion you should definitely check out their website you can also order samples by the way and for those people who like it extra they actually have hand sanitizer in different perfumes that's really cool right the next one on the list obviously had to be on the list, which is Upland Mask by Latafa, which is my engagement fragrance that I bought in Dubai. Of course, this had to go on the list because there's a lot of emotions and memories attached to this perfume. And again, this is a beautiful perfume. Um, I tried the perfume. I was on the hunt, like, you know, in my video, I was really on the hunt for an oriental perfume in Dubai. When I tried it, I actually let it like sit on the skin. I was like really thinking, should I get it or not? And I smell it the whole day in the heat and it's a beautiful fragrance again um now you by now you probably know i really enjoy the mix between oud, like oud amber mask these kind of fragrances with some vanilla with some rose i think the mix is just beautiful but it because in my opinion it makes an oud or it makes a mask a little bit more feminine it doesn't have to be but i that's how i enjoy it and i can highly recommend it uh, as a fragrance from la Dafa. it is stunning so in case you love the same fragrances as me then you will really enjoy it the next one on the list is satin mood uh no it's oud satin mood by mfk maison francis courtijan i think uh, it's pronounced and i mean we don't need to talk about the longevity of his perfumes they are the synergy is amazing, the longevity of these perfumes are incredible and um, it is a stunning perfume. It is a unisex perfume, Damascus Rose in it, which I think is just stunning. There is amber in it and just the mix is just incredible, but you have to be careful because this, like, if you wear this perfume, people will definitely notice you because I mean, the projection of this perfume is insane. So if you don't like strong perfumes, maybe stay a little bit away from it. I've actually ordered the hair mist of the perfume. Um, I'm really excited for it to arrive. I haven't tried it before, the hair perfume. And I love hair perfume, especially if you like some fragrances, but you feel like they're too strong. A lot of times the concentration is a little bit less in the hair perfume. If you straighten your hair or you just want your hair to smell good, the hair perfumes are amazing. Also, if you want to mix and layer fragrances, I think that's a great option. You can use one for your body, you can use one for your hair. I like it a little bit extra, you know. I think if I can be extra, I am. <laughs> And so I love to use hair perfumes, so I'm really excited. I will do an unboxing, I think, on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me there. And the seventh one on my list is Tipsy Water by Byrido. I know some people feel like it's a very basic perfume. I know, but I love it. I love it because for me, this is the perfect mix between fresh and musky. I love this one. Perfect mix, fresh, woody and i actually feel like on me it lasts a long time this perfume gives me the feeling of being 
super cool i don't know it's a super cool fragrance for me it gives you a super cool kind of vibe i love to mix this as well as you know like i love perfumes that are versatile meaning that i can use my like just by its own but also the kind i can mix um i like that that's a perfume for me that you can dress up you know you can wear it during the day as you go you know and you go have like go and do some errands but you can also dress it up with like a more of a um deeper gourmand kind of fragrance and mix it and it's just stunning this as well is a great way to to make yourself a signature scent like mixing two perfumes and i also really love their hair perfume like i said because um, also, if you want to try the perfume but you're not sure and you want to blind buy, get the pair of perfume because it's less, uh, a lot less uh, expensive. But yeah, I love this and I would definitely keep it. When choosing my 10 perfumes, I try to be a bit more versatile, to have a little bit more difference because, you know, I really go by my feeling. I wake up and I put a perfume on, I mean the two different ones, maybe I show you my perfume routine, let me know right below, but um, I really go by feeling, so sometimes I feel a little bit more fresher, sometimes I feel a bit more woody, um, so I, I feel a bit more for some, uh, I feel a bit more in the mood for something woody, so yeah, I mean it really depends, so I really go by feeling, so I wanted to have a versatile selection of perfumes, <laughs> as versatile as you can get, I mean there is kind of a pattern in my perfume right then the next one i have on my list is cairo by penhaligons this for me is a little bit similar to halfeti if you haven't tried it on them but it's for me it's like the feminine version of it that's my opinion anyways don't have to agree with it but um i love this one for me cairo is the epitome of smelling expensive and luxe i mean for me I don't know if i have this perfume on i feel like i have my things together like i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna handle my business i don't know i just gives me like an empowering feeling and i love this perfume great all year around but again really really amazing also for cold runs uh date nights evenings i mean you're definitely a showstopper with this perfume I love this. Penhaligon has great perfumes as well. I mean, yeah, but this one is definitely my favorite and as well it's called Cairo. Um, it has a special meaning for me even more. Um, yeah. Then the last one, the number 10 on my list, oh my god, already, is En Soleil Moi by Gads Bijou. I've mentioned this perfume now in two videos, two of my last videos, and I'm pro you probably are surprised you probably are surprised if you know my fragrance uh, taste because um this one is probably the lightest fragrance I own besides um, molecule that I feel like is almost just a hint of the smell, you know? But this one is just beautiful for me this is a resort fragrance this is what i would wear if i am in on vacation and i just lay on the beach the whole day but of course we have to pay attention because if you lay on the beach you wear protection sun protection and alcohol is not the best way for your skin but like i would maybe put it on my hair or like put it on my clothes this one is just beautiful for me this is the perfect beach scent perfect summer scent um for me this is what you would wear in ibiza um just beautiful it has the flower tiari there is coconut in there it is very creamy um i actually think this is better than also right long i said it i really do believe that it is better um and it's very soft and i think um that's a great fragrance to have as well because sometimes you just want to wear something really light and very summery and fresh and it's really sad because i couldn't find a link so i will try again to find the link um but yeah these are my top 10 fragrances at the moment that i would want to keep um for life but i will change selection because i don't want to get i don't want to decide um maybe later on i will acquire new perfumes and i change my mind and um, let me know which one which is one perfume below that you would keep for the rest of your life if you like this video make sure you put a thumbs up below the next videos are gonna be wedding scents and my perfume collection my current perfume collection so in case you want to watch it make sure you put the ring bell button on to get notified when i upload a video i upload twice a week so 
content is coming in case you want to watch these videos and you want to get informed whenever i upload make sure you comment below make sure you put the ring bell button on also if you haven't subscribed by now what are you waiting for subscribe already Thank you.